Hey there, as you already know, in this video, I'm going to talk about my ranking of top 10 DCU villains. And mind you, this ranking is not based on their powers or um, what they can do and how sinister and um, they are human or super villains or alien or something like that. This is not based on that. This is purely based on the portrayal of them in the big screen. Okay, so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So first up at number 10 is Victor Zaz. Now, Victor Zaz is the current and the latest villain which we have been introduced to in the movie Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of Von Harley Quinn. Okay, so anyways, this villain is okay. Like, it was pretty good. Like, the way Chris Messina played this character was really good and I liked it. But uh, in many ways, it actually differs from the comic book elements and the comic book counterpart of this character so in in this regard this is number 10 because in the comics he's also not so famous in the comics but in the movie he's even more less famous i mean he does all the bad things for black mask and and uh, yeah but i think he he and black mask like these two characters were uh pretty much one dimensional in the movie and they were uh, like we didn't know much about their origin and why they became the villain you know so yeah so Victor Zaz is number 10. Coming up at number 9 is Ares. Now Ares is number 9 because when we learn about Ares in the first half of uh, Wonder Woman we actually uh, got to know that how sinister he is and how powerful he is and what he can do and uh, he can like you know like destroy every single people in earth and he can even destroy gods and so on and so forth but uh, the way he was shown in the movie in the last couple of scenes and the last portion of the movie the third act so-called third act of the movie so yeah there we saw him and we liked it i mean i personally liked it but it didn't really match up to my expectation so yeah that's why he is number nine next up number eight is black manta so now black manta is completely like it is a big shift from Ares because black manta is portrayed pretty well in the aquaman movie i mean his origin was okay his story was fine and even his powers were fine and he looked amazing like he just looked so much like his comic book uh counterpart and the way he is portrayed in the comic books I mean, he just looked so real. I mean, it just looked like someone just picked up the character from comic book and placed it in the movie. It just looked amazing. It felt amazing. And the way Yahya Abdul-Mateen II played it was even better. I mean, I'm not saying that uh, it couldn't have been uh, played better than what we got. Yes, it could have been better, but... Yes, what we got is pretty much better than other villains in the DCEU. So, Black Manta is number eight. Next up, number seven is Feora. Now, Feora is the only female villain in this list. I mean, unfortunately, that's true. But Feora was so, so amazing like it was mesmerizing i'm not saying mesmerizing in a sense like it was so peaceful or something you know it's a villainous mesmerizing way so Feora was so so good in the movie man of steel and even it's pretty much arguable that who was better general zod or Feora. but in my opinion general zod was a bit like a little bit better than Feora. so that's why Feora is number seven and uh, my goodness like that Henry Cavill versus Feora I mean Superman versus Feora fight scene that was so amazing to see that was just so amazing and yes Feora is number seven next number six is actually R the seven deadly sins my goodness it was such a 
big surprise from the movie that the seven deadly sins were in i mean it was pretty obvious i mean i even expected to see the seven deadly sins in shazam but they didn't show a bit of it in their trailers and i think it was also you know like one of the reasons why this movie wasn't so much successful because they kept so much things under the wraps but it, but still i'm not uh, judging the movie or ranking the movies i am here to rank the villains and the seven deadly sins were amazing they looked so so powerful and so uh you know so villainous and so dangerous you know and uh, yeah like whenever they were on screen it just felt like a horror movie like that much like creating that uh, ambience that feeling like that's just amazing and yeah the seven deadly sins are number six next at number five is king orm or ocean master so yes ocean master it was so 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 amazing i mean ocean master was perfect yes i'm calling it he was perfect i'm saying that whatever he did and how he looked how he talked how he acted everything was perfect and it's just that it didn't really just matched up my expectation it went beyond my expectation and yes ocean master was just perfect amazing now at number four is general resort yes i know just a little while ago i said that zen resort was a little bit better than feora but after feora i placed two two other villains and then I placed uh, General Zod yes because I, I know that General Zod was better than Feora and he is better than Feora in my opinion but he was even better than the seven deadly sins and King Orm or Ocean Master because General Zod like what he did his purpose I mean yeah like um, Ocean Master also had a purpose and it was really understandable it wasn't one dimensional and also General Zord was also not one dimensional and but the way General Zord was portrayed like it was so much you know like um so much amazing and so much um uh, uh, what to say I'm, I'm losing my words but you know but still what I'm trying to say is uh, General Zord was just amazing he even like what we saw in the movie was that uh, Clark Kent like when he was a boy he took time to adjust in the uh, earth, earth environment and then also we saw that General Zord was also um, uh, finding difficulty to adjust in the environment of earth so yeah and how he adapted how he flowed how he fought with superman it was just just so amazing and the way um i'm not just saying that uh the way he was portrayed in the movie the way he was shown like zack snyder's mm -hmm. vision actually made him more 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 um better than other villains so yeah general zord is number four next up number three is black mask okay so i know that i said that uh black mask was pretty much one-dimensional and i'm also not sure to put put him at number three like i was even confused to put him in this list i I wasn't sure where to put him but then i thought he is a little bit better than the general zord and again i thought he is not better than general zord and even i thought that he wasn't even better than feora he should be just a little above black manta but then again i thought that black mask was better than general zord so yeah like i am pretty much confused to where i mean what to put black mask in this list and i end up putting him at number three but ewan mcgregor's portrayal of black mask was really sinister and really really villainous and dangerous i mean he was cutting off people's faces 
you know, like that was so dangerous. And uh, he just did so much horrible things in the movie. I mean, I'm not going to um, spoil the movie because it's still in the theaters. So yeah, a black mask. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know. I just, uh, I just put him at number three. Yeah. Next at number two is Dr. Savannah. Yes, the movie Shazam opens up with the story of Dr. Savannah and why he became the villain. I mean, it's one of the reasons why I love this movie. I mean, I actually um, didn't like a lot of things in this movie and Shazam is definitely not uh, the number one movie in my list. But uh, Dr. Savannah and his story and uh, the 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 way they portrayed Dr. Savannah and the the way they told us the story of Dr. Savannah was just amazing. And I think um, other movies couldn't do that better than this movie did. And um, and we learned about uh, the things that why uh, Dr. Savannah was so obsessed with magic and why he was so obsessed uh, to gain power. Because, you know, like he was uh, pretty much abused in uh in his family by his father by his brother like they always um treated him so badly like they treated him like garbage and he was obsessed with his grandfather's uh magical stuff like uh there was a ball uh his grandfather's toy or something whatever but yeah like the way he he was um uh, a portrait in the movie and the way he uh, not he but the way uh, DC and Warner Brothers showed Dr. Savannah in the movie it, it was just amazing it, it I mean I just loved Dr. Savannah I, I mean I don't know how much I loved uh, Zachary Levi's Shazam but I loved Dr. Sh- Dr. Savannah so yeah Dr. Savannah is number two and before I reveal my number one here are five honorable mentions. Finally, at number one is Lex Luthor. I know uh, many will disagree with me and say that Lex Luthor should be the last villain should be the worst villain but to me he was the best DCEU villains as of yet and yes I know what I'm saying and he was just the best because I loved him I loved how Jesse Eisenberg did and what he did with the character and I know that um, the way Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor was um, portrayed in the movie was very different than what Lex Luthor is in the comics but the way it was shown the way uh, Zack Snyder uh, uh, created his version of Lex Luthor in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is that uh, is that it was so special and so dangerous so villainous I mean it was just so much like the Joker yeah yeah I know that uh, there are a lot of people who will say and I also I will also say that it was very much like the Joker like what he did and the way he talked the way he behaved with uh, other people he was a lot like the Joker and maybe that's the reason why a lot of people don't like this version of Lex Luthor but I think uh, taking the source material and making it even more and more amazing I mean a character who is obviously like one of the best DC villains in the comics and uh, portraying the uh, character in movies with more wretchedness with 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 more uh, you know uh, villainous characteristics is just amazing and I just loved Lex Luthor and Lex Luthor is my number one so this was my ranking of top 10 DCEU villains and I would be really curious to know what is the number one DCEU villain according to you so yeah just let me know in the comments and uh, uh, 
thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.